Hello and welcome to this free preview lecture series of my on-demand FE Electrical and Computer Exam Preparation course. In this lecture, we are going to learn about straight line equation, which belongs to the very first section of latest FE Electrical and Computer Exam specification, which is mathematics. And mathematics is also one of the most heavily weighted sections on the specification. But before we jump into the content, I would really appreciate if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Hello and welcome to part one of our multi-part lecture series on the topic of algebra, which is a subsection of mathematics. So our first topic is straight line. When it comes to straight line, there are multiple equations that you can use to derive the equation for a straight line. The simplest and probably the most uh, commonly used equation, which happens to be the first equation in NCSFE reference handbook as well, is the slope intercept equation which says that y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, so let us dissect this equation a little bit. So y obviously represents the y component of the straight line, x represents the x component of the straight line. Okay, what is m and b? m is the slope, okay, m is the slope, and b is the y-intercept. Or it is the value that y uh, the line will have on the y-axis when x is equal to zero. Okay, let us look at a very quick example. So if I have a straight line like this, then its equation is y is equal to mx plus b, then m basically determines the slope, which is rise over run, okay? And you can see that this is origin, zero, zero. This is your x-axis and y-axis. So when x is equal to zero, so x is equal to zero over here, the value of the line that is purely y, okay? The line just has a y value, x is equal to zero. So this is equal to b. So this is the y-intercept. When x is equal to zero, the value of y is equal to b, okay? Now, if I were to just um, do a quick example and I say, that, okay, sketch a line uh, which is y is equal to x plus four, okay? Pretty simple line. Over here, you can see that if there's nothing being multiplied with uh, x, then there's always one, right? So the slope of this line is equal to one, and the y-intercept, which is equal to b, right? This is equal to four. Now, a line with a slope of one basically means that its rise over run is equal to each other. So that is a 45 degree angle, okay? Remember, so 45 degree angle, represents a line with a slope of one. So this is how this line is going to look like, right? But if I were to draw this line, that basically means that when x is equal to zero, then my y is also equal to zero. So, which is not true, our y has to be equal to four. So the way I'm going to sketch this line then is that, okay, I have one, two, three, and four. So at this point, I am going to make a 45 degree angle with respect to the x-axis, okay? And this is the equation of x plus four, y is equal to x plus four, because now you can see that when x is equal to zero, when x is equal to zero, your y is equal to four. So with the slope intercept equation, if you're given the slope m and you are told about the y intercept, you can come up with the equation uh, without any issues, right? It's basically just plug and play substitute the value of m and b and you'll be done with it. Now, a slightly more difficult, I would say, uh, form of uh, the straight line equation is the point slope equation, where you are actually provided one point and you are provided a slope, okay? So it requires us one extra step in rearranging the equation. Other than that, it's pretty simple. So you have m, which is rise over run, okay? Delta y over delta x, you can call it and you have one point. So I have this one point and I'm told that, okay, it lies on a straight line which has a slope of m, okay? So how, how can I convert that into a straight line equation? It's pretty simple. Let's do one example. Let's say that the slope is provided to you as three, m is equal to three, and the point that the line passes through is two and six, okay? Two on the x-axis and six on the y-axis. 
what you'll do is simply substitute this here. 3 is equal to y minus y1. So y1 is the point. So this is 6 divided by x minus x1. This is 2. So x minus 2. So rearrange this equation. Okay, your y minus 6 is equal to 3 times x minus 2. This is still not in the standard form. This is the standard form. y is equal to mx plus b. So we have to rearrange it further. So I'll take everything on the right hand side other than y. This becomes 3x minus 6 plus 6. Um, y is equal to 3x minus 6 plus 6. So I multiply 3 here, multiply 3 here. And then when minus 6 goes to the right hand side, it becomes plus 6, okay? So these two will cancel and I simply end up with y is equal to 3x plus 0, okay? So the y-intercept of this particular line is equal to 0 and the slope is equal to 1, uh, so 3, sorry. So it basically means that this is the y-intercept and the slope is 3, right? Remember I told you that uh, slope of 1 basically means that it will make a 45 degree angle. So this is much steeper. Slope of 2 is steeper than slope of 3 and the uh, sorry uh, slope of 1 and the slope of 3 is much steeper than slope of uh, 2 and slope of 4 is much steeper than slope of um, 3 and so on. As m increases so does the steepness of the line increase okay. So this line will look something like this uh, m is equal to 3 and in this case b is equal to 0. So as you saw we just had to do a couple of extra steps in order to put this line in the uh, put this equation in the standard form otherwise um, it's pretty simple the third equation of straight line is the two point equation in which you have to calculate m as well okay all you are provided are two points through which this straight line passes okay and this requires one extra step because you have to calculate m as well. Previously, the m was provided to you, okay? So let's say that we have these two points. Uh, we have x2, y2, okay? And we have x1 and y1. That's all we need know about the straight line. So these two points actually lie on the straight line, okay? They reside on the straight line. Okay, if I were to draw a straight line between them, it will, it will look something like this, and you basically just extend it in both directions, right? But I have to come up with a standard form of this, uh, standard equation of this straight line. Step number one is to calculate your m, okay? So now over here, you can do y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, or y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2. The key here is to keep the order same. So you can see that if you're subtracting 1 from 2, then you have to do that both in the numerator as well as denominator. You cannot subtract 1 from 2 in uh, the numerator and 2 from 1 in the denominator. Then you will get the wrong um, uh, polarity, okay? But it doesn't matter whether you do y1 minus y2 or x1 minus x2. So this is simply your delta y over delta x. Now when you have this m, then you will be able to find the slope intercept equation, the standard form pretty easily. Let's do one example. Let's say this x2 and y2 are 4 and 8 and x1 and y1 are 2 and 4. Okay, so if I were to calculate m, it's pretty simple. I will subtract um, y1 from y2. So basically I will subtract, uh, I'll do 8 minus 4 in the numerator and I will do 4 minus 2 in the denominator. Now you could have subtracted 1 from 2 as well. It wouldn't have mattered. You just have to be consistent here. So I would do 4 minus 8 divided by 2 minus 4. Okay, both of these will result in a slope of 2. So now I know my slope. What about the standard equation? We still are not there yet, right? We have to do something else. So my standard equation right now looks like I, well, it's in the form of mx plus b, but the good thing is that I know the m now. So y is equal to 2x plus b. Okay. Now, what I need to do is to simply substitute any of these points in this equation and I'll be able to figure out what the value of b is. So if I do y is um, uh, so 2 and 4, so y becomes 4 and x becomes 2, okay, plus b then you can see that these two will cancel each other out and which will result in b is equal to zero. So in this case as well, the intercept ended up being zero. It's just a coincidence. But now the equation is y is equal to 2x plus zero. 
Now this intercept could have been anything else. This M could have been anything else, um, something different depending on the points you have. But the process will still remain the same. You calculate the slope, you substitute any of these two points in this equation, and then you figure out the value of B. So you can see that our end goal is always to um, convert the equation into the standard form because now you can clearly identify what the slope is and what the intercept is, okay? And if you're given the slope and the intercept in the question, then it's pretty simple. If you're just given a slope and a point, then you have to do one more extra step. If you're given two points um, and that's it, then you have to actually uh, do a couple of extra steps. But in either case, you should be able to arrive at the equation pretty simply. The final equation regarding straight line is the equation that helps us calculate the angle between two straight lines. And for that, we need to know the slope of these two straight lines, okay? Um, so slope of line one is M1 and line two is M2, okay? One of the things that you notice over here is that you might be asking, okay, how do I select which one is M1 and which one is M2? For that, you basically need to see how these lines are, okay? Typically, when we have two lines that intersect each other, okay, there will be a positive angle formed. Okay, let's say this is M1 and this is M2. You'll see that there will be a positive angle and there will be a negative angle that will be formed with respect to the x-axis. Now, if you select these lines such that M2 minus M1 is positive, then you will get the positive angle, okay? And if you select the, uh, if you set M1 and M2 such that um, the numerator is negative, then you will get the negative angle. Okay, both angles are correct because they are both being formed between these lines. But typically the positive angle is looked at and maybe you can check the options that are provided to you. If all the angles are positive, then you will set M1 and M2 such that uh, the difference of these two slopes in the numerator is positive so that you can calculate the positive angle. Okay, so let us now solve a practice problem from study guide. In this problem, we are being asked to find the equation of a straight line which passes through two points. So remember, we've already done multiple examples, right? We've done one example of the equation of straight line involving the standard slope intercept form and uh, then the other case was a slope and a point form and this one is between two points. So I always like to sketch roughly as to what I'm dealing with uh, so that it helps you visualize, okay? So you have um, the first point is 210. So two on the y-axis and 10 on the y, uh, sorry, two on the x-axis and um, 10 on the y-axis. So it would look something like this. And the other point is 312. So three would just be um, slightly towards right of two on the y x axis and 12 on the x uh, y axis, okay? So this is 210, okay? And this is 312. So we need to find the equation of line that passes through these two points. So first things first, you have to classify this problem properly. It's a straight line problem. And then within the straight line problem, you have to make use of the equation that tells you how to calculate the equation of straight line between two points. So once you have categorized this problem properly, the next step is basically just making use of the formulas that are provided to you. So we want to be able to put this equation into this format because you can see that all of the options are in the form of y is equal to mx plus b, which is a standard form of the straight line equation, okay? And we've also categorized that we have to make use of the formula that helps us find the standard equation by using the two points. So we know that we have to first find the slope uh, m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So again, you can select any of these two points as y1, uh, x1, and um, x2 and y, uh, y2, it doesn't matter. So once you calculate the slope uh, by taking the difference between the y points and the x points, your slope ends up being two. Now, the second step is to put this into a standard equation. You can see that y is equal to two x plus b. So using the method of elimination, you can already rule out a couple of options, right? Because you are 100% sure about your slope, which is two. Now it's just between options b and c. To calculate the y-intercept, all we gotta do is substitute any of these two points 
into this equation and the value of b will be clear. So I choose to substitute 2 and 10. You can verify it using 3 and 12 as well. So when you substitute 2 and 10, um, so x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 10, the value of b turns out to be 6. Okay, so the standard equation uh, so the equation of this particular straight line in the standard form becomes y is equal to 2x plus 6, which is option C. So you can see that we can go through these steps in a um, systematic way. And as long as you are making use of the formulas and you know uh, which formulas to use and how to use them, solving these type of problems is pretty simple and straightforward. So these are one of the more easier questions that you can expect within mathematics. Um, so obviously if uh, somebody gives you slope and uh, m and b then it is simpler than uh, calculating the equation of straight line using two points but even then it's it's um, pretty simple and straightforward in this lecture we looked at four different types of equations for straight line the first equation is the slope intercept equation and this is the most standard equation of straight line y is equal to mx plus b where m is the slope and b is the intercept. The second equation is the point slope equation where you are given one point and slope of the line. And by making use of this information, by putting these two together, you can actually come up with the standard equation of the straight line. The next equation that we looked at was the two point equation where you are not given the slope, but you are given two points. So I'll call them x1, y1 and x2, y2. And by means of these two points, you can actually calculate the slope. And once you have the slope, you can again come back to the standard form of the straight line. And the last equation we looked at helps us calculate the angle between straight lines. If you found this preview lecture helpful, I am confident that you will also greatly benefit from the full course that contains over 150 lectures and covers all the topics that are found in the latest NCS FE Electrical and Computer Exam Specification. You will also get access to tons of quizzes and mini exams in this course that will help you get additional practice along with a bonus full-length computer simulated practice exam. This streamlined and well-reviewed course comes with an amazing 30-day full refund policy, no questions asked. On top of all this, I have also included a special discount link in the text section of this video.